we can change him off of gifts from heaven. It was just the most fun looking ability I had. <laughs> yeah, I need to find something more effective than that. It seems to work great against large groups, just take entire sw uh, swaths out of them, but... Alright, well this is obviously not worth watching, I'm just zoning out here now. I can feel my eyes glazing over. The glamour effect looks really cool. I like it. Is glamour basically just like permanent mirror image? It's like, how, how many guys are there? Is it like three? Two? Is it like six of them? <laughs> Man, I guess it looks like six, right? Or seven, rather. Anyway, it's obviously not that important. It's the tiny little fight. And missing forest again. And so here I lose this fort. This is the forest, first fort I've lost. And I expect I'll take it back very shortly by the look of the forces they're taking it with. But yeah, obviously I now need to try a forest like this that relies more on beasts and things and try and build up a more interesting group than what I've got here. This is of no interest to me. We lost everything. They lost. Not much. Got it. Unexpected misfortune. Fortress. Fortress. Can bust in there. All right, so making great progress here. I think, I mean, honestly, I'm, I, I'm still finding myself kind of tempted to just call this and, and start over to a new game. I think I probably will when I return to this. I, you know, I think it's fair to say uh, with my little formations, I'll be able to grind this game down. Unless, am I missing something? Like, because it seems like they're not, it seems like the, the normal AI is not rising to the challenge at this point. Um, so I think it's time to to get over with this. I can I can slowly grind them down. And I don't think I can just lunge for one of their hearts. Like I don't think I could just do and push and get him. Uh, not even into Vanheim. I don't think I could. I'd probably get a tritted down and lose. So I have to like very carefully kill their important shit with my fodder. Is it just more resources? Really? That's too bad. It's kind of a, like a cheating AI, like the same AI, but just they just give them more shit. That's is the normal AI on par with what I get? That's too bad. Cause yeah, once you get a feel for how the troops move in this, like the fact that they all move at the same time over the change of the turn. That was sort of confusing for me at first, like trying to chase down a forest by like going at them. Yeah, it seems like they kind of, they send enough fodder at you. Like, it doesn't feel like they have a particularly cohesive plan to any extent. Like, I don't know if they're, these are like pre-designed builds that the AI is just choosing between, because it feels like there would have to be a finite number of builds that are actually good, right? Not finite, but like, I mean, truly, at a certain point, it's a bell curve. Like, some of them are really good, some of them are not so good, and then a shitload of them are kind of just in the middle, right? So, surely there must be a library of builds that you could just feed an AI and say, grab one, 
and have fun. I guess then you'd have to incorporate things like transitioning and reading the enemy's units and trying to like do something with them. I don't even know anything about making AI. Um, but if you can't tell by now, I am certainly winding down at this point. I'm, I'm pretty much content with my play today. I've played for almost five hours and I'm ready to just relax and drink beer as we roll over to the new year. So, how y'all doing? I liked Pancho. I liked him a lot. He, uh, the whole the whole premise of the race I chose here gets me real happy. I I love Total War. I love just big sections of infantry charging at each other. I think I kind of like the role of being the mundane human faction in a in a fantasy setting. I kind of like it because it's like it's like being in a safari in, in fantasy. You've just got shitty human weapons and basic mortal magics, and then you're up against all manner of bullshit, and it's just it's just hilarious to watch the 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 different. I mean, I guess. I mean, it, I guess each race is, is unique enough that it's all a it's all a unique challenge so far. Humans are great fun, man. Some people just don't get it. Some people are like, "Why would you pick a human in a game about being not a human?" You know, like, why would you not want like the interest of being a beast? And it's like, uh, I I'll, I think I'm probably gonna try and do like either Pangea or maybe Ur next um just something that's got more more intrigue to their to their units maybe something that has a little a different twist on what kinds of magic they they enjoy i might try doing something that uses early necromancy uh yeah necromancies but i mean again it's all just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks right like I originally started this game trying to focus on, or like with the intention in my head that I was going to focus on uh, Warriors of the Five Elements, but they're just so fucking like expensive, I found. Like, I just didn't want to buy them when really I had a working model of recruit units at this rate, throw them at the front line, and we're making progress. Don't stop throwing units or everything's going to crumble because everyone's trying to kill you because you're a superpower. So I kind of got stuck into that role and wasn't able to snowball out of control with something very specific, I guess. Because um, I was just sort of doing the doing the numbers game in my spam build. And as I, as I got up to learning some basic... Uh, yeah, totally. Um, I, I, I kind of... I mean, I understand how the bless works. Um, sort of. The problem is I struggled in this game to recognize how important my prophet was being the only level three priest that i seem to have access to like i don't know how to i guess i could take the um what is it masters of the way or whatever whatever they're fucking called celestial masters i think what are they called celestial master i guess if i now that i'm up to eight construction i could start making units or i can start making the item that gives them one priest level can i even afford those yet let me let me just check what that what that takes so i can start to understand this here because that would be the way and then i can like that's kind of what i was trying to do with the ancestral ghosts right but i was struggling to bless them effectively because i tried just doing like t i tried telling one uh death fucking master of death or whatever master of the dead master of the dead uh, try to get my Master of the Dead to just do the Ancestral Wrath or whatever it's called and summon a shitload of them and then just cast Bless. Like, obviously, he would target the sacred units, right? No, apparently not. It just targets whatever or a small number of them to get blessed. So, let's see here. Item boosting. I passed it. So, I could get a Sword of Injustice, which requires four death magic can i get someone with four death magic i 
think that would be the only way, because I don't have anyone with three fire. I'm not going to actually enact this, but I'm just sort of starting to try and craft how I could adjust my strategy. Um, because, yeah, I would have wanted... Um, now that I understand a bit more about the choices I made, I feel like rather than thunder weapons, which is the bless effect I have right now, I would want to go with like fire weapons. But that's the problem is I ended up choosing an air elemental just because I don't know. I liked the <laughs> truth be told, it, I kind of st my stumbling block here was that I chose the celestial master just because I like the aesthetic of him, and I was trying to find a way to justify going with him instead of going with someone where I could do uh, fire aid. I think that was where this whole build stumbled was I just look at him look at him stroking that beard <laughs> you know he's so awesome like so badass and I kept hearing people throwing the term super combatant around and saw his stats and saw the armor he came with and I was like I want to try to make one of those let's do that but alas He's so cool, and like right off the, right out of the gate, I knew I was like, I'm gonna get him winged shoes. I'm just gonna give him a fucking sword and a bunch of magic, and just blast the shit out of stuff, and then go and chase down the biggest stuff that I could find. But I just, yeah, couldn't quite build him the way I should have. I think because fire, I feel, would have been a better choice for the ancestor ghosts, because I see the potential. I see. The potential of turning one death gem into 20 people potentially with the fire right click the, the fire attack right like am i am i totally off base here sorry if you're joining us i'm actually just winding down just so you know i'm just chatting some some theory now here to understand what's going on with my with my build here's our nation if you wanted to check it out but i'm pretty much done for the day um but yeah, what do you think? Like, it occurred to me, like I was saying, that Thunder Weapons wasn't so bad because it seems to do fatigue damage, which, along with the paralyzed damage, ends up being an interesting perma stun. So, because like I, I fought their 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 god and perma stunned him, so that could have been like surely that's a valid build to some description, right? Like, I was kind of concerned when I realized how easy they could air, uh, kind of bless. TC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because it seems clear that the blessed strat for these guys is obviously Warriors of the Five Element or uh, or the Ancestor Ghosts. Like, that's, that's it. The Ancestor Ghosts seem a lot cheaper to me because... The, the cheapest caster we have is the Master of the Dead, so, you know, one of those guys for potentially, like, 20, 40, 60 of these damn ghosts, and just, like, one Celestial Master with that sword that gives him an extra bless, right? Like, I've got, uh, who was it that had the Death Magic? I think I could probably boost Death Magic enough to get it. Yeah. I've got skull stuff. I could get. Ah, uh, no, this is where I struggled, right? Because it needs. Yeah, you need five death just to get the skull face. Interesting. Is there is there something I'm missing here, or is there is it really just totally possible to get just a hundred percent roadblocked with magic? Like, oh, you didn't build your your shit carefully. Now you just never get. Uh. Now you just never get uh, access to some of these items because of the death magic you cannot get. Um, Celestial Masters do arcane. Let me pull them up here. Start off with one arcane. Yeah, so you can see here. Fire, air, two water. Arcane plus chance of more air, water, arcane. Small chance of air, water, arcane. Plus one guaranteed of fire, earth, death. Or nature and they can fly which is random and fun 